In 1938, September 30th, the Munich Agreement was signed between Italy, Germany, Great Britain and France. It stated that the Sudetenland would be annexed by Germany and the Allies would do nothing but German territorial expansion would end there. However, it did not. Over the next few months, Czechoslovakia was partitioned by its neighbours. Today we're going to be looking in depth how this occurred and how the Allies let this happen and did nothing. So the Sudetenland was now lost. German forces had moved in to occupy it. However, in a very rare case of Poland being the one partitioning and not being partitioned, the Polish forces signed an agreement with Czechoslovakia to cede some border territory over to the Polish government. German forces also briefly increased their demands and went further than the planned Czechoslovak Sudetenland border. That was not the end, however. Hungary would then occupy two more border towns, raising tensions ever higher. Then, on the 2nd of November, the first Vienna Award was signed. Large amounts of southern Slovakia would be ceded to Hungary. Once again, the Czechoslovaks did nothing. The Sudetenland borders were also updated, swapping some territories between Czechoslovakia and Germany. Overall, Germany did get more territory from this exchange. Poland had also annexed another small strip of land, which was the second time that they had invaded Czechoslovak territory, and the first time they did it without any kind of consent. They also did this again after the first Vienna Award. Eventually, however, after Allied protests, this would stop. At Mukachevo, Hungarian and Czechoslovak forces would clash as the Hungarians attempted to annex another border town. The Czechs attempted to fight, however, eventually they gave up the town. Eventually, Slovakia would declare independence. Poland would annex more border territories, once again annoying the Allies. Eastern Czechoslovakia would declare independence and be invaded by Hungary. Eventually, the German protectorates of Bohemia and Moravia were established in Western Czechoslovakia, Hungary and its Carpathia, and began the Hungarian-Slovak War, where it would attempt to gain border territories off Slovakia. However, the Slovak army was not weak. Eventually, they came to a compromise. The Germans also occupied much of Western Slovakia, including the capital of Bratislava. Now, peace had been established in the region, However, Czechoslovakia had been dissolved, the remains of it, Slovakia, being no more than a German client state. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video on the partition of Czechoslovakia. Make sure to like and subscribe, have a great day, leave any questions below, goodbye.